step into the bar where everyone knows your name. Cheers, the beloved TV series that aired from 1982 to 1993, wasn't just a show about a Boston Barrett, was a reflection of camaraderie, wit, and the pursuit of belonging. Set in the iconic Cheers bar, it became a cultural touchstone, blending humor, relatable characters, and timeless storytelling that resonated with audiences across generations. One might ponder if there's a specific scene etched in memory, or a moment that sparked a deeper connection with this series. Perhaps it's the comforting banter between Sam and Diane, the quirky wisdom of Coach, or the endearing camaraderie among the regulars. Cheers wasn't just a sitcom, it was a mirror to our own desires for community and acceptance. What keeps Cheers eternally relevant in the landscape of television? Its enduring qualitous authentic characters, genuine humor, and heartfelt storytelling. Even today, its impact echoes in sitcoms that strive to capture that same magic that same feeling of belonging. Do you have a cherished memory or a personal experience linked to Cheers that brings a smile to your face? Share your stories and reflections in the comments below. Your connection to this timeless series adds to its rich legacy and resonates with fellow fans. Cheers, a beloved TV series that aired from 1982 to 1993, revolves around the bar Cheers in Boston, becoming an iconic beacon for camaraderie, wit, and the daily lives of its regulars. Created by James Burroughs, Glenn Charles, and Les Charles, the show found its niche by blending sharp humor with genuine warmth. Its core characters, notably Sam Malone, an ex-baseball player turned bartender, and the erudite, slightly pompous Diane Chambers, provided the series with a dynamic central relationship. The bar's regulars, including the quick-witted Carla Tortelli, the affable but clueless coach, and the lovable, intelligent but socially awkward Woody Boyd, added layers of depth and humor. The show's brilliance lay in its ability to create a microcosm of society within the bar's confines, exploring universal themes of love, friendship, and personal growth. The witty banter, hilarious misadventures, and heartfelt moments between the characters endeared cheers to audiences worldwide. Its success wasn't merely in its clever writing or talented cast, but also in its unique setting, a bar where everyone knew your name, fostering a sense of belonging that resonated deeply. Cheers left an indelible mark on popular culture, earning critical acclaim, multiple awards, and a lasting legacy. Its impact extended beyond the small screen, influencing other sitcoms, and solidifying its place in television history as a quintessential example of ensemble comedy done right, showcasing the power of a well-crafted script and a brilliant cast. The theme song of the 1982 TV series Cheers, where everybody knows, became a hit after its release in 1983, resonating with audiences worldwide. Despite the belief that Woody Harrelson was the singer, it was actually performed by songwriter Gary Portnoy. The song's popularity was such that a 2011 Rolling Stone Reader's Poll ranked it as the greatest TV theme song ever. Its melodic charm and lyrics encapsulated the essence of the show's welcoming atmosphere, emphasizing the sense of belonging found within the Cheers bar. The song's impact on popular culture endured long after the series concluded, serving as a timeless reminder of the show's warm appeal. The character of Rebecca Howe in the 1982 TV series Cheers initially struggled to resonate with audiences. Originally written as a frigid, no-nonsense ice queen, she failed to connect until a pivotal episode where she opened up about her feelings for her boss, Sam Malo. Responding to viewers' positive feedback, the writers revamped Rebecca, transforming her into a neurotic and zany personality that captured audience attention for the rest of the show's run. This series also had an interesting quirk with its background patrons. These minor characters, who occasionally had a line or two per episode, shared their first names with the actors portraying them, adding a subtle layer of authenticity to the bar's atmosphere. Another fascinating detail involves Woody Harrelson's casting. His character was named Woody before any actor auditioned for the role. Interestingly, Harrelson, who hadn't watched the show and had no interest in television, auditioned at a friend's suggestion, leading to his iconic portrayal of Woody Boyd. These behind-the-scenes insights shed light on the evolution of characters and the coincidences that shaped the memorable cast of the 1982 TV series Cheers, showcasing how small changes and chance occurrences influenced its enduring legacy. 
The 1982 2 V series Cheers had an extraordinary impact both on and off screen. One notable event was the Cheers to Boston celebration in November 1990. This grand affair marked the show's 200th episode and became a memorable moment in television history. The celebration was more than just a milestone. It was a tribute to the series' significance, with cast members honored in a parade, a public ceremony, and a rally outside Boston's City Hall. The actual Cheers bar hosted a celebration featuring the cast, bringing the show's spirit alive in the heart of Boston. The event encapsulated the deep connection between the series and its setting, solidifying Cheers as more than just a show but a cherished part of cultural history. The unfilmed cliffhanger of Cheers in a planned sixth season cliffhanger of Cheers. A storyline was set to unfold, adding a serious twist to the show's usual blend of humor and camaraderie. The plot involved Sam Malone, the ex-baseball player turned bartender, discovering that a former girlfriend was HIV positive, putting him at risk. However, this anticipated episode never made it to the screen due to a writer's strike at the time. The decision not to film this particular storyline marked a unique moment in the series, showcasing the challenges faced by the production team and the impact external factors could have on the planned narrative. The cliffhanger, never realized, left viewers with a lingering what-if scenario that remains a curious footnote in Cheers history. The behind-the-scenes dynamics, as seen in the shelved cliffhanger, provide a glimpse into the complexities of producing a long-running and beloved TV series. It sheds light on the delicate balance between creative vision and external constraints that can shape the trajectory of a show. Cheers, known for its wit and warmth, navigated such challenges throughout its run, leaving an indelible mark on television history. This unproduced cliffhanger serves as a testament to the unpredictability that can characterize the world of television production, where even well-thought-out storylines can be derailed by unforeseen circumstances. Cheers, despite its scripted nature, faced its own set of real-world challenges, adding a layer of intrigue to the show's legacy. In the end, Cheers' enduring popularity is not just about the stories that made it to the screen, but also the ones that remained untold. The unfilmed cliffhanger stands as a testament to the resilience of the show and the creativity that fueled its success. As we bid adieu to the nostalgic haven that is Cheers, let's not merely part ways with a simple goodbye, but rather embark on a reflective journey down memory lane. Take a moment to delve into the rich tapestry of your own life and consider the unique threads woven by the 1982 TV series, Cheers. In the dimly lit corners of this Boston bar, where everybody knows your name, we've found solace, laughter, and camaraderie. The characters, like old friends, became a part of our lives, teaching us that sometimes, all you need is a place where you belong a place like Cheers. Perhaps it's the poignant wisdom imparted by Sam Malone, the bartender with a heart as vast as the city skyline. Or the quirky charm of Carla, whose sharp wit never failed to elicit a chuckle. Maybe it's the endearing camaraderie shared by Norm and Cliff, the patrons who turned barstools into thrones. Whatever the reason, Cheers became more than a show. It became a sanctuary for the soul. Now, as we stand at the crossroads of memory and the present, let your thoughts flow like the finest whiskey poured at Cheers. What moments linger in your mind? Which punchlines echo in your heart? Share your cherished memories and reflections on this timeless series with fellow enthusiasts. Let the communal spirit of Cheers resonate beyond the screen and into the collective consciousness of those who have, in some way, found their own Cheers in life. Thank you for allowing the memories of Cheers to linger a little longer in your thoughts. Your connection with this classic series is a testament to its enduring magic. As we raise a virtual glass to the cherished moments, let the echoes of cheers reverberate through time, reminding us that, in the grand narrative of life, we all seek a place where everybody knows our name. Appreciatively enthusiast of the extraordinary PS. Share your reflections and join the conversation your thoughts matter, and so does your story. After all, isn't that what cheers taught us?